We've tried deputations. We've tried rational arguments. But these elected officials and the North London Waste Authority are also directors of London Energy Limited, a private company that are making profits out of burning our waste. Today we're at the uh, Crowndale Centre in Camden where the North London Waste Authority is having their annual general meeting. We move on to the next agenda item, which is the appointment of the chair of the, of the authority. There's a lot of complaints about the chair's behaviour available on the North London Waste Authority's website. Uh, my question to you, is good governance having a chair in post for 14 years? Yes or no? Stop, please. Pause and review. Do not elect like those. chair of the North London Waste Authority, who's also um, a paid director of the London Energy Limited, a private company. What is this person still doing there after 14 years, pushing an agenda that is old? They've been working on this project for so long that I think they've, they've lost the truth of what they're doing. Earlier this week, the emissions trading scheme in Europe started to include incineration. This will fundamentally change the economics of this project, making it even more of a financial albatross. Spanish company Acciona acknowledged that it's going to be over capacity for London's needs. They will have put a huge amount of money into building this oversized new incinerator that will not comply with the legislation. So every one of our boroughs will have a stranded asset costing our children and grandchildren money. Burning plastic, burning plastic, fills the air, fills the air. With pollution, with pollution, pour more greenwash, pour more greenwash. Even the old parliamentary group of MPs on air pollution are calling for a moratorium on incineration. Wales moratorium on all incineration, all new incineration, and to phase out existing incineration has led to them having a 65% plus recycling rate, and that's rising all the time. There's a lot more possibility of recycling than we're actually doing at the moment. We need to be creating products with their end of life in mind, so that they can be taken apart and the components reused to make new things. They should not be put on a toxic bonfire. We need a mixed waste sorting facility in Edmonton, and this would be for the benefit of a very deprived community who are currently suffering the emissions from the incinerator to the detriment of their health. Incinerators, that's what they do. They turn matter into these microparticles. And literally, billions of these are being released every second by incinerators. The World Health Organization has found no safe exposure to these particles. The all-party parliamentary group on air pollution said that this incinerator produces a significant health hazard. And where does it do this except in an area of deprivation so that the people who are suffering from this incinerator are the people who are already receiving the worst health and justice and environmental racism. Our councils are wanting to spend this 1.2 billion on a project that will generate 700,000 ton of greenhouse gases potentially into, until 2075 at a time when we know we need to fully decarbonize our, our economy as quickly as possible. This is a complete abnegation of our climate responsibilities. It's a shameful dereliction of duty, and it's a massive global and local climate injustice issue. Where is your integrity? Michael Gove, in his capacity of Minister for Leveling Up, can intervene in failing uh, statutory authorities. We've laid down in a 10-page document our reasons why we think the North London Waste Authority is failing. There is a financial 
irregularity, uh, contracting irregularity, misleading statements. Burning plastic, burning plastic, fills the air, fills the air, with pollution, with pollution, from our greenwash. I'm hoping the case against this incinerator is so strong, be it on health grounds, on climate change grounds, on air pollution, on cost grounds, that it will eventually be stopped at the 11th hour. Let's stop the Edmonton incinerator now! Woo!